the haunt sucks and I'm going to explain why in multiple different ways because there's so many issues with this event that I personally find uh, and a lot of other people also found. So initially it all started off with the items that got released because here's what they all look like if you haven't seen them already. And when these items got released, you know, I'm personally not a big fan of a lot of them, but also they aren't terrible. You know, like they're good items, all things considered. You know, other than that, I feel like a lot of new gen players will actually really like these items. And there wasn't really much to complain about uh, on that aspect. I personally don't like them, but I, I know a lot of other people actually will. But uh, if the items were my only complaint, I would not be making a video with this title because over the past little while, so much more stuff has come out about the event that it's just made me so disappointed like this tweet right here from someone named Zeal, who is one of the devs of Pressure where basically Zeal said this, yeah, this update sucks. Sorry about that, it was meant to be for the haunt, but we only learned it was gonna be a costume contest last minute. It was originally planned to release on the 24th with an easy difficulty, allowing little Timmy to beat it relatively fast to move on to other games, and it was only last minute that we learned it'd be a costume contest, so we didn't have time to change the difficulty to be an actual challenge. So I saw this tweet yesterday, and I read this tweet, and I was instantly like shell-shocked, bro, because what Zeal is saying is that the whole haunt event is the costume contest that, you know, we all knew was leaked a little while ago, which, from what I remember, I thought that the whole costume contest aspect of this event was going to be just like part of the event, but no, no, apparently the costume contest is the whole event, which, uh, is insanely lame now. When I thought about this and I saw this tweet, I was just thinking in my head, like, why would Roblox get other games involved if it's just a costume contest, right? Like, why is pressure even still involved in the event if it has nothing to do with these other games? And while that question wasn't really answered until today, because Bloxy News tweeted out a bunch of information about the event and how it's actually going to officially work. And oh my God, dude, I am not excited because Bloxy News' tweet says this, how do I participate, join the haunt event, hub, press up your avatar and take screen captures in the hub or in participating experiences and submit them to the contest in the hub vote on your favorites every day and earn free items. Explore new unlocked area of the hub each day to earn hub exclusive items. Stick around for a big surprise and rewards on the final day now reading this. My brain is on fire, bro. Cause this sounds terrible now. There is step four of this that I has me a little bit hopeful cause it says explore a new unlocked locked area of the hub each day to earn hub exclusive items which kind of gives me some like vibes of like the roblox classic event and how that hub was very interactive so maybe the h hub will be like its own game or experience in itself which i think could be pretty entertaining but the other steps in this whole tweet just dude it it sounds so bad because yeah the main part of this event is you dressing up taking a picture of yourself in a roblox game and then submitting it to get voted on. Now, I do hope there is more aspects to this event, but it does seem like it's all just this. Now, the tweet thing goes on to the second part of how the costume contest actually works, and we'll start on step two because it says that once you submit your screen captures to the appropriate categories, you will then have to vote for other people and your screenshots will also get voted for as well. And it says here, if you make it to the top 50% of any category in the first round of voting, you will win a runner-up prize, which I'm not sure what that is, but if you make it to the top 10% of any category in the first round of voting, you will earn a category prize and move on to the second round of voting for best overall from each category. And then for the sixth part, it says, if you make it to the top 10% of the second round of voting for best overall of any category, you will receive an exclusive grand prize. So, yeah, the, the art, the hunt is literally just a popularity contest and getting votes on pictures, dude. This is the lamest thing ever. And I, I hate saying that. I hate being such a hater. But this is not what we wanted at all. And if you look at the comments of this tweet, you could see that I am not the only person with this opinion. We got chiseled saying this seems so lame. We got other tweets saying might just be one of the worst events. Don't you love gatekeeping event items to a popularity contest? And yeah, you kind of just get the point. Like, this is so lame, bro. Like, this is the dumbest thing ever. And I just hope that the hub actually has more things in it than the costume contest. But man, so lame. And I think the, the worst part about this is that another sinister pumpkin hat was uploaded onto Roblox. And if you don't know what the sinister theories is, it's basically these pumpkin hats that used to get uploaded every Halloween and they would always have different colors and stuff like that and it was a very very cool thing to look forward to every year but they stopped doing it in 2019 but they actually brought it back this year in a very special way because the item looks like this 
Okay, it might not look that good like that, but when you wear it in game it is completely golden. But now with all that in mind, this kind of has me scared that this might be the grand prize because the item is not on sale right now. And if this Sinister G is the grand prize for the costume contest, I will be insanely disappointed. But honestly, I feel like it might be. It also could just be one of the items that you get to buy every 24 hours, but who knows. Yeah, the hunt kind of looks like trash. All things considered, they had one good item get uploaded that everybody is really, really happy about, but it's kind of scary because it might be the grand prize and that... sucks and now the event has officially started okay and i went and played it and yeah everything that i thought was going to happen yesterday uh happened it's genuinely just a costume contest there is no crazy things happening here there is quests in the event hub but it's only for gear in the hub like it's not for items i'm pretty sure it looks like it's for items but it's not it's just not for items at all the main quest and the main way to get items is by voting for other people and taking pictures yourself now there's also a bunch of other issues with the haunt as well because now the hub is apparently super duper laggy for a lot of people. I even found it a little bit laggy and we hear some tweets about it such as this one right here that just says this sucks. I had good performance yesterday. Why is turning crap? The haunt tub performance sucks. And yeah, I agree that the haunt tube is actually pretty laggy, bro. And yeah, if you go into any yeah, if you go into any of the games that are in this event, all they have is this little icon on the side of the screen that you click to take a picture. That's it. That's the whole event, and in some games there's other UI in the way, so it kind of like breaks the game a little bit. Now again, I think all the developers, all the item creators, they all did a great job. The items look fine, the game looks good. All the developers for this event did a great job, but Roblox is the one who fumbled this time because they told all these developers that were invited to the haunt that it was a costume contest last minute, and yeah, it just sucks, man, and it really just sucks. The whole concept for this event is just not something that I think should be the main focus. Yeah, I get it. It's kind of creative, I get. It's kind of cool, but this is totally a side quest of the actual event. Like, this should not be the main course of this event at all, and I think the main reason this event just truly sucks is because you're only really going to be spending maybe upwards of like 10 to 15 minutes ling this event a day, Meanwhile, the other events, people were spending hours upon hours grinding, getting items, which I think is a fun part of those events. This is genuinely just like something that you pick up for five minutes and then just don't think about until the next day of the event. Obviously, there's going to be more stuff over the course of this event. There's going to be more things added and whatnot like we've seen in previous events. But as of right now, this event stinks now on top of all of this. There's also apparently a bunch of like game breaking bugs happening in the Han people are doing like the in-hub like quests and they're unable to claim the, the certain things that they're supposed to get from it. Like, here's one tweet about it saying, amazing, the event is broken on day one, can't get the lantern badge with a video of the thing just being broken. I also had a couple of bugs where my voting thing just wouldn't open anymore and I literally couldn't vote, bro. Now lastly for this whole story, the like to dislike ratio on this game has been growing ever so slightly ever since it started. Here's what it looks like now. By the time you're watching this video and you see this part of the video, go check and see if it's gotten worse or better, because I'm just genuinely curious. One really awesome thing is that uh, people are like intentionally trying to grief this event by like wearing ginormous avatars to make it so nobody can actually take screenshots in these games. There's like one tweet that I saw about it that I thought was kind of funny. Someone's just wearing like a giant cat thing to try and grief the hub. I guess another really cool thing is that the the whole like voting system has some sort of algorithm or discoverability aspect to it where you get only certain pictures to vote on. You don't have to vote on like millions of pictures which is good but in some cases it seems to be breaking or just not really finding the best pictures because... Yeah, it seems like this person got literally like three very similar images to vote on, dude. It doesn't end there because Pressure, the people I mentioned earlier in this video, they've had even more updates ever since the event officially started that just are so sad because now, if you play Pressure, this note is somewhere in the lobby that says, Welcome to our Haunt Event Entry. Use the settings in the top left corner to adjust the scenery to your liking, audio atmosphere music, and crowds, use the shop menu at the bottom of the screen to design a costume, then take a picture using the Roblox capture tool. You will then be able to submit that costume into the Haunt Costume Contest once it goes live later today. We made the entire Rav Yard for nothing. This is the event. Sorry, and if you're confused on what the Rav Yard is, it's basically like the big update that they made for the Haunt before they knew the Haunt was just a costume contest. So, yeah, they got completely like screwed over and on top of all of that.
Okay in the haunt lobby the portal for pressure says the mimic for some reason. Now I think this could just be a glitch for some people but also I've seen this complaint multiple times I feel like this is something that Roblox genuinely messed up like they actually thought pressure was the mimic for some reason. Yeah this event has not started good um, and uh, it's not looking good alright.